Hello friends, I'm Ron Brown. Welcome to my shop. I would like to talk to you about something new I've come up with to solve a problem that we all have when we're turning natural edge vessels or anything with an irregular rim. Uh, when it comes time to finishing the bottom, there's no real way to hold it in a long width chuck or cold jaws or the normal way. So a lot of us would just figure out how to make some sort of jam chuck to hold this and then bring the tail stock up. The issue I've always had with that is the jam chucks are made out of usually green wood and then from one use to the next they change shapes or they crack or they split and I always have to return them plus I never have just the right one for what I'm doing. So I got tired of that so I have come up with something called a natural edge jam chuck and this is what it is. It's an assembly that has a face plate it's got a receptacle for a, an extension tube and then it comes with three different size uh, chuck plates, one for the little stuff, one for most of the things that most of us do, and then a large one. They're, they're three inches, four inches, and six inches. They all have a, a slot in them for the extension tube. So the way this works is you would actually uh, assemble it for the proper size here, put that on, bring your tail stuck, bring your tail stuck up, and then trap it with your live center. So then you can you can go ahead and turn this, you can turn the outside if, if you want to. You can uh, when you're all done and you've turned everything, then you can go back and take that tenon off all except a little nub on the bottom. The other thing that I've discovered this is really good for, there are actually two more things. One is when you rough turn a bowl and it's green and then it dries out, the tenon usually goes so oval that the chuck won't grip it and you always have to return this tenon. So even on a conventional uh, blank, because it's gone oval, the top is a little bit irregular and it's hard to hold it. This is a perfect solution for that. But the other thing that it's really good for is if you're turning at the maximum capacity of your lathe. This it happens to be a 16 inch jet, so we could turn a vessel almost 16 inches. Well, if I have a Longworth type chuck or even cold jaws, you always lose an inch on each side for those the buttons that do the holding. So on a 16 inch uh, cold jaw or longworth chuck, you can only turn something up to about 14 inches. Using this, you can turn the tenon away up to the full 16 inches because you don't have any buttons to deal with or anything like that. You can, uh, you can go actually clear up to, to, uh, to your natural edge chuck. So, now, for those of you that have been struggling with cold jaws and stuff, and you want to turn something, you know, the full capacity of your lathe, what if you have a 12-inch lathe? Now you can actually turn 12-inch vessels, whether they're natural edge or plates or platters or whatever, you can do that. In addition to that, I've recessed the, uh, each one of the uh, chuck plates so that it's completely flat. So the, the nut here on the drawbar doesn't stick out. So if you have something that's really flat, you can put it right up against there, center it up, and do whatever work you want. So I think you're going to like this. Uh, this is the end of July in 2021, and uh, we're going to put it up on the website here in the next day or so. I'm Ron Brown. Thanks for watching.